Carousels are super popular in web design, but in order for us to show clients how they work, we need to animate them. In this video, we'll take on the challenge of animating this carousel in under five minutes. We're gonna use a special technique to do this, so make sure you watch the whole way through so that you don't miss any details here. Also, if you want to follow along, we have the Figma file in the description below. Now, let's start the timer and get going. All right, so we're in Figma and we have these five steps to complete in five minutes. So let's waste no time. The first thing we want to do is to create some sort of a card. And I have this image here that I will call my card. So it's an image fill. I have a linear gradient stroke on it to make it look a bit more fancy. That's all. I'll take this, drag it onto the next step here where I will duplicate it two times. I will then take these colors here and apply them to my cards. I will take all of those items, hit Shift A to create an auto layout make them a bit tighter, call this container, and there we have our auto layout. We have our stack of cards. Okay, bring it to the next one where we're gonna put it inside of a frame, then we're gonna duplicate that frame two times again, and we're gonna change the position of the cards. So I'll go here, I'll hit A to create a frame like this, send it to the back, take this container, copy paste it inside of this frame. I can give it a new color like that, call this carousel. Now we have this frame. I'm gonna actually center this so that it's always centered. So if I change the size of this, everything stays centered. I'll take this carousel frame, duplicate it twice. I'll change the position of the cards like this so that we have all of the different states of this carousel. So there we go, we have all of the different states, which brings us to the next point, which is to create a component set and then add drag interactions to it. So we'll target all of these or select all of these, go up here, click create component set, and once that's done, now we can start adding interactions. And the interactions are gonna be from these auto layouts. So I'll hit this, go to prototype, and then from here I can hit the plus, just drag it to the second state or the second variation here, change from on click to on drag, and then just have this smart animate animation with ease out. So that's to the right state, I also want to have the ability to drag it to the left state here. So I'll change this to on drag as well. So now we can go from the center to the left and the center to the right, but we need to be able to go back from the right here to the center. So I'll add an interaction back to the center, on drag, the exact same thing. Same from this one, the left back to the center, on drag, just like that. We don't really need to add an interaction from this piece, for example, down to this piece, because you can't really go from the far right to the far left in one swipe. You're always gonna have to go back to the center piece. So that's why we don't add drag interactions from this one to the bottom one, or from this one to the middle one here. Anyway, so we have our carousel here. Now I'll create an iPhone frame. I'll change the color of it like this. I'll grab our first component here, drag it inside here. I'll change the size of it so that it fits, center it. I'll add a flow starting point. We can call it iPhone prototype. I'll hit play. Let it load, and there we have our carousel. If you want more tutorials like this, let us know in the comments below. Until the next one, have a great life. We'll talk soon, ciao.